free daily legendary hero roll. I'm on a streak. Come on, baby. What is going on gamers? Avatrix here and today we're gonna go ahead and hop back into this account and we're going to be switching out Ragnos talent as we usually do. This time we're gonna switch out 808 flame guard which we covered on the last video regarding Ragno. and this time we're going to go ahead and try to get a 505 corrode for him to try him out. So let's go ahead and uh, start using these level 5 talent crests. Um, don't need a war god. If you don't already know the story behind this account, um, don't know what to tell you. I can't be saying it every single time. Uh, Alright, so Heavy Blow, we don't really want that either. Flame Guard, we already got that. It's funny enough, when I was looking for Flame Guard and when I was looking for War God for this uh, Ragno, they were nowhere to be seen. And now, they are everywhere. Berserk, I don't really think uh, Ragno is a Berserk type of guy. Or, they're a guy? No, it might be a girl. A lot of people call everything girls. Um, Bulwark. I believe we already covered Bulwark. I'm not 100% slow down. Not really the best talent. Come on, Corrode. Where are you? Where are you? There we go. No, that's Heaven's Wrath. The only reason I'm sh I'm showing you Tenacity. That might, be, that might be an interesting one in the future. Although, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. More HP. You know. Um, Scorch. Mm, that can also be an interesting one, although it's fairly similar to Flame Guard, so I don't think it's going to be that big of a difference as far as how they work. And there we go, Corrode. Um, but yeah, I was <laughs> I was showing these uh, this level fives because a lot of people are like, "Oh my God, you're wasting them." There we go. We replace it, and this time the game didn't want to think about it. It was just like, "Okay, fine, we'll replace it." So there we go. Five of five Corrode. Now the crest. Um, let's not go with Bulwark. Let's go with Life Drain. I just want to see how much sustain he can get. Uh, alright, so let's go, let's go out for a raid and see what he can do with that core road. Okay, now here's an interesting one. I wonder if he would actually target these gold vaults or if he'll go around. Let's, let's see. He definitely is going to target them. And that is perfectly fine because I want those stun towers to get out of there. Um, here comes the Ares. Uh, is it triggering his Corrode? That's what I want to know. It definitely is triggering his Corrode. They are not gaining any sort of energy. And with his Life Drain and his built-in... I guess you can call it Life Drain. I don't even know what you would actually call it. Self-healing. Um, he is keeping this whole team in check. Now, keep in mind that I believe they were pretty much all single evolved. So there is that. But his Corrode is, uh, it seems very, very powerful. Okay, so let's move on. Actually, let me go ahead and take some of these mana, because I'm, I'm looking a little mana dry right now. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the next one to see how it fares. Okay, so we have an altar here. I don't know what I'm going up against, but uh, we'll see. It's a whole double evolved team. Oh my goodness. This might be a problem. Um, but his Corrode is actually activating quite well, even though the Cupid proc'd, his Corrode is keeping them pretty much at, uh, at bay. Now keep in mind, this is 1 versus 5, but his Corrode is doing work. I don't really know what's healing them, it might be the pet, I don't know. But uh, he's staying alive, and these are double evolved heroes, so it's not like they're that much weaker than it. Okay, I think the Cupid is about to go down, and if this is a battle of attrition, who knows? The Cupid just came back up and procced. That might be a problem, because it revived. Okay, so there goes a hero. There goes Cupid. Here's a problem, though. There's an Anubis and a Skull Knight. I don't know how this is going to fare, but here's the, here's the thing, though. He's not dying. Like, he's not dying. The Anubis is hurting. The Skull Knight is not really hurting, but at the same time, if we can just keep the Skull Knight from proccing, that Skull Knight might be in trouble. Uh, let's see. He's just, he's, I think he's just gonna chill. Hmm. Look at his HP, look at his HP. He was just about to die. 
And he is keeping an Anubis and a Skull Knight team at bay. Now granted the Anubis is not double evolved. And I think he's about to bite the bullet here. But man, when you think about it, it was 1 versus 5. With a full-fledged Skull Knight coming at you. Well, what else was it? It was like a Cupid. The Anubis went down. It's just, you know, Anubis has like 7,000 revives. That was a pretty... That was a pretty interesting uh, showing there from him. So let's go to this next altar and see what they have here. I don't know. I have no idea. Trung Yung Jim Jum Jing Jung. All right, let's see. Ooh, this one might be a little bit more interesting. The I believe the Ares procked on him, so he might be done. Yeah, he's he's done. He's done. But if that Corrode activates and it actually hits the Ares before he actually gets to proc, he might be able to pull this off. Uh, I wonder, because I know that Corrodes can activate right from the get-go. So if that's the case, maybe if I can put him on the right-hand side. Um, okay, actually, he transformed in this one. This might be the difference maker here. No, the Ares proc But at the same time, he's still not going down. Uh, he might go down right here. He might go down right here. Actually, he's still not going down. Holy moly. Okay, respect. Hey, you gotta give it up to him, man. The, the guy the guy is holding it down right now. He is keeping them at bay. Can he actually win this? He's whittling them down. The revives are always gonna get him like this. Oh, no. I think he's done. Oh, that was looking real good until I believe it was the Cupid or the Pumpkin Duke died and revived and actually got his proc off. But that was actually... That was actually quite interesting. Hmm. Let me see if we can replicate that again. It looks like he transformed. Now his Corrode is going to start doing work. Um, it actually, And it actually is making me wonder, what if I put... What if I put Scatter on him? That might be interesting, actually. Uh, but it looks like on this one, he actually will pull it off and beat this. The Vlad might be a problem. No, he took him down. Okay, now the Pumpkin Duke is back. The Cupid is back. I think that's what took him down last time. The Pumpkin, the pumpkin Duke and the Cupid reviving and progging at the same time. Because that's just deadly. But this Ghulam, I don't think this Ghulam is going to be able to proc. And if he does, he'll probably just get really lucky. Um, it looks like this Ghulam also has life drain, but he's... I think he's gonna... he's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. Oh, no, the Ghulam got a proc off. But actually, I don't think it's really healing him that much. It didn't really heal him that much. But he got a, another proc off. Ugh. Now, here's... here's the problem. Sometimes if you go with something like Corrode and like a life drain etc maybe he doesn't do as much damage as you would want him to do but still just look at this he's i think he's actually going to take down this golem right here right now oh is he gonna do it is he gonna do it is it gonna have revive that's the thing is it gonna have re of course he's gonna have revive but it didn't matter it didn't get to proc corrode and that was him by himself you imagine pairing him with a Skull Knight that is also Corrode. Or like for instance me. I have a Dread Drake that's Corrode. My Skull Knight is Corrode. And then if you put Ragnar also in the front line with Corrode. Or something silly like a Michael with Corrode. That's GG. Like that's, you're done. You're done son. So let's do another raid. Let's see what else we can find out here in the in the wild. Um, this one. Eh, we'll try it. We'll try it. Can he go through the wall? He definitely will go through the wall. I want to attract the attention of the Skull Knight. There it is. That's what I wanted to attract. The attention of the Skull Knight. I want to see what happens here. Corrode at work. Oh my god. He is getting destroyed right now. What just happened? What just hit him? It wasn't the Skull Knight or was it? I don't know. Uh, 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 no. Now let's go back to this. I want to see if, if he can get a little bit of help. What this actually would look like. I don't think he got procced on right at the beginning. So I don't think the Ares actually got a proc off. And the more he's going to get hit, the more that Corrode is going to activate. So it actually makes it even more useful the more he's actually hit. Um, now, I think that Ares actually has life drain, which is 
like who uses life drain on Ares? But it's actually, I, I mean, it's helping him here. That Cupid, though, is about to bite the bullet. But watch him have revive and proc. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Actually, the Cupid hasn't taken damage in forever. What the heck? It keeps missing now. Okay, actually, the Ares is dead. There goes the Cupid. I told you that he was going to revive and proc. But I don't think it did anything for him. The uh, Pumpkin Duke somehow is still hanging in there. Must have have revive also. Um, and you know what? It's, it's actually helping his Corrode. The more he gets hit, the more his Corrode activates. So that's one of the most overpowered thing about Corrode is that it doesn't have any sort of specific cooldown. The more he gets hit, the more chances you have it'll, that it'll trigger. By the way, this Anubis is about to bite the bullet once again. That'll be his second revive. Now he's on his third revive. So again, the Corrode is a very, very good talent on him. Um, I can really see it shining on something like Lost Battlefield, uh, even like Fortress Feud. Not so much Guild Wars defense because that's where you'd want to go with either like a Flame Guard or a Stone Skin, you know, things of that nature. But still, Corrode. It, yeah, I really do like Corrode. I wouldn't put it as a top three talent, but Corrode, I do feel like it's a, it's one of those perfect talents that if you roll it and it's an option for, as a Rockno and you don't have anybody else to put it on, you don't have like a Michael or a Skull Knight or you already have it on them, Rockno is definitely a solid choice. Um, and it's also a really good talent if you're really hurting on fame or you have a lot of fame that you're trying to use on something else because 505 corrode that's it you don't gotta take it at eight to be super super uh useful like a bulwark or a war god etc a five corrode you roll it you're good to go um but yeah let me know what you guys think about a five corrode rockno and tell me what other talents you guys want to see with the rockno thank you guys for watching and until later bye